What is good, my journeys? What is good, my journeys? Listen, be you. Be yourself, man. That's the hardest thing to do. I believe. I believe that 100%. It's being yourself. And I mean, it's not our fault. I'm not going to blame anybody. But I just know society itself, we're trying to live up to society's expectations and the way they say we should live. But be yourself. Be authentic, man. Be real. Y'all know I'm very, very spiritual. And there's a lot of people that hate that. They hate when I get to talking about the universe and manifesting and how I love to meditate. They hate that. But that's me. So if a person hates that, they basically saying they hate me. And y'all got to really listen to what people say to you when they're mad. I know people tell you, oh, I was just mad. I was just saying things to hurt you. Okay, but you said some things that made a lot of sense. You said some things that felt a little too real. Like, I've been thinking you, you felt like that, but you never said it. But you said it now. But be y'all self, man. If you know you dress a certain way, dress that way. If you know you talk a certain way, talk that way. Embrace you. Because let me tell you, the one thing I don't let this platform do to me is put me in the box. I love being a free spirit. Don't put me in no category. Don't put me in no group because I'm a free spirit. Meaning I'm not entitled to no group. A lot of people, man, they try to put you in this group. They want you to be like them. They want you to act like them. It's like you can't even be yourself. And if you are yourself, it's like, how dare you? But one thing about me, man, I love being me. It's tough at some times, you feel me? It's not always easy because we all want to be accepted. We all want to be liked. No one wants to be judged, y'all. I feel it, I see it, but you gotta be you. You got to be you, man. One thing I would not do is allow myself to conform to this society, to this world, you know? I'm very, very deep. I'm spiritual. I'm always analyzing Earth. I'm analyzing what I see on TV. I'm analyzing what I hear in music. Because your mind and your spirit is everything, even your heart. It is a battle every single day on those things I just named. Your heart, your mind, your spirit. And that is why they work so hard to keep us in these boxes, man. You might be different than your immediate family, your brothers, your cousins, your mom, your dad. It gets that deep. You're nothing like your parents. You're nothing like your sisters and brothers. You know, I'm different than my family. I know it. They have told me, Jacob, you're different, bro. But that's a good thing. You know, growing up, it hurt me because they didn't fully understand me. But once they learn, okay, Jacob is going to forever do Jacob. Jacob is going to go get the life we say he's not going to go get. He's going to persevere through all the pain he's been through. That's Jacob. He's different. He's spiritual. He's awakened. You know, he loves, he loves nature. He loves meditating. You know, a lot of people, they try to put us in the box, man. But this is me. If you don't like me, bye. You feel me? This is my life. When I lay my head down, I've always said, if I lay my head down and I feel like I can't come to YouTube and say what I want to say, they got me. They got me. If I can't go out my house and wear what I want to wear, talk the way I want to talk, they got me. We all want to be accepted. So I'm not telling you to lose that because it is a natural emotion. It is a natural thing. I mean, you got people that are famous and they still be looking at comments. I wanna see what they think of me. It's a natural thing, y'all. But don't get stuck in it. Don't get stuck in it, man. Because I've gotten stuck in it. Y'all don't understand the struggle of it. My life is not my life anymore. Every single day I'm being judged and criticized and these monitoring spirits. You will never tell me good job. You will never like a video. You will never comment, but you watch every single video. And I want you to know I feel you. 
I, I, I even know what you conjure up in your brain about me. But everything you're saying is false. Everything they saying about you is false. So y'all can have the parties where y'all sit up and talk about me. They can have the parties where they sit up and talk about you. But it ain't you. Y'all stay real, man. Stay knowing that you're anointed. Stay knowing that you are a spiritual being, man. We are way more than this physical body. But a lot of people, they spend a lot of time trying to make this physical body look a pleasing. But the one thing they forgetting to work on is their spirit, their mind, their soul. And every single day, I'm always talking about the spirit, the mind, the soul. It's because that's what's truly going to change your life. You can go get your body did for my queens out there. But if you're not confident within yourself, it means nothing. For my fellas, you can go get all the money. You can go get the big house. You can go get the nice whip. But if you're not, you can even have the girls around you. But if you're not confident within yourself, it means nothing, bro. It means nothing. Like, it's crazy how I'm not the most richest person on the planet, but I got a lot of confidence because my spirit, my wisdom, it speaks for itself. The way I help you guys, I'm going to forever be rich. I'm going to forever be successful. You feel me? And I don't care who is trying to step in my way. I'm going to forever work. I'm going to forever move. And I hope you guys will forever move, forever work. Like I said, man, being a spiritual teacher or a healer or on YouTube, it's, it's tough. And everybody feels as though they have something good to tell you about your life. But it's like, dog, let me be me. Stop trying to control me. Stop trying to make me talk like you and act like you. You know, when I came to this earth, I signed up to walk my own path. When I came to earth, I signed up to be my true self. And you know what? Sometimes being your true self, it might be considered darkness. It might be considered you being wicked. But teaming up with somebody that don't even accept me is the wildest thing you ever can do. And I just can't do it, man. So... Be yourself, man. They might be jealous of you. They might be talking about you right now, telling you that you won't be nothing, trying to come against you. But if you're truly chosen, they might can delay your blessings because that negative energy does have a little influence, right? They can delay you, but they can't stop you. Because early on my journey, people tried to delay my dreams, really stop them. But I kept going, bro, because I seen I can be out here, dog, trying to say the things that people want me to say, look the way they want me to look. But the one thing that's going to be missing is my inner peace, my happiness. And I don't know, y'all, I'm at a place in my life where I just want to be me. I want to be free, bro. And I don't know if, if it's the fame getting to me. I don't know if it's the, the people, but I don't want to lose myself, man. And I'm not saying I have, but there's times I feel like it. I'm like, yeah, man. I love being successful, bro. I, I love this stuff, man, but I love this stuff. But you just get to a place to where you, you kind of don't want it anymore. You know, I don't care how rich I get. I don't care how famous I get, bro. How well known I get. Let me put it like that. If I can't be me, I don't want it. I don't want it, man. And I'll never forget, this person in my family told me this. They told me I was going to be big one day. And I can't tell you guys the other part of the story because that's just, you know, private. But they was like, you're going to be big but you still gonna be Jacob. You still gonna be able to walk, go to the stores you please. You still gonna be able to travel. 
Because when I seen me growing up, I thought like I was going to have to have all this security and this protection and, you know, all this crazy stuff. But honestly, y'all, I'm well known, right? But I still can walk to the store. Like the person said, I still can travel, you know. Now, I've been through seasons where I've been lost with YouTube. I've been lost with these videos because it's not like I'm doing gaming content. I'm not doing um, anything that fills in that gap. If I'm not feeling my best self, there is no content. Meaning, if I can't even pick up the camera, I cannot film because I can't get on here and fake it. You can see it in my eyes. You can see it in my skin, bro. Everything that I go through, I internalize. And that is why you guys mess with my videos so much. It's because I'm real. I won't get the praise like most YouTubers because I'm real. That's the dark side about being real, y'all. You will not get praised like most people. Because a lot of these people that we be looking at be giving us a false identity about life, man. It be all wrong. But a lot of people want to live in their delusions. They, they want to live in their darkness that they friend this person. They friend their words. And it's not even real. So... I don't know who needed to hear this message, but be yourself, man. Don't conform to this world. Be you, man. It's the hardest thing to do, but it's much worth it, okay? I love you guys so much. See you guys in the next video. Peace.